So I'm going to show you how to change a double acting into a single acting. Well, I'm going to show you how to change it. So here we go. What you can do is when you get this thing shipped to your house, uh, this is what it's going to look like. Do not mind this blue wire and this wire. This is all my power bench power supply. The way it works is it powers my 12 volts into this so I can do some tests. This is your main positive that will go to the battery. Uh, this is going to be your negative that's going to go to the negative pole in the battery as well or your ground on your truck. The way it works is when you get it shipped in, you'll see this brown wire that's going to be uh, on the positive, this black wire that's going to be in the negative. Now, this positive relay is on this side. Well, not positive. This relay is on the positive side. This relay is on the negative side. I'm using the negative relay on the negative side relay. The positive one is blue. If you look inside of it, actually, there's a wire that's blue. Now that wire goes into this remote, there's an up and down. You won't be touching any of this. Now there was another video I found. I just thought I'd make another one to make it a little bit more simpler and explain a little bit more. Don't touch this, it's perfectly fine. When I got it, this is the way it was wired up. You can still keep it. There's another wire here, the one that you're not going to use. You don't have to cut it. And another guy cut it, you don't have to cut it if you don't want to. Now, in the remote, facing towards the wire, going that way is the up button. So just remember that. Turn it around, I rewired it. Super simple. You don't have to use the blue one, you're using these three wires. Your brown, it's going to stay where it's at. It was already there, just leave it where it is. Your black wire was right there. You'll move your black to right here. Your gray wire was down here. You'll move your gray to up here. Your blue wire was up here. What you'll do is you'll take it out because the gray goes there and you'll just cut this little end. So as for instance, I'll just hide this little wire way down here. You don't need it. Put some, you could put some black tape on it or something so it don't touch anything. But for instance, I'll show you how it works. I don't have enough amps to push this, so you'll hear it click. But, for instance, if you hit the up button right here, you will hear this motor try to kick in place. I probably shouldn't do that. Definitely damage the motor. But anyway, it's trying to work. Now, to get it to come down, usually before, if you hit the down button, it would hit the motor on. Now it doesn't work like that. If you hit the down button, opens the relay button up. See? opens uh turns the reel on opens opens the circuit to open the um relay to be able to have the flow come down back through there to be able to open up into the tank so that's how it's going to work super simple super easy you have up you have down <coughs> what i was talking about is if you hit this down button you'll see a tiny little light over here light up like that now it's not going to work you don't have to worry about it. All it is is because the ground wire comes into here and it's just pushing a little bit of energy back into the wire. Don't have to worry about it. It's super okay. It's fine. Your relay will still work um, later if you want to make it back to a double acting. I think this is the super easiest, cheapest way to make a double acting into a single acting, which is what it is now. You won't have to worry about this one. You can leave it like it is. Keep that little plastic cap on it. It'll be fine. Uh, this is the one I will be using. I will hook my hydraulic pump to this one, my telescope one I've got, and I should be good to go. Like I said, you got your up, and then you got your down for your gravity feed so your engine doesn't kick on, so the flow can flow back down. You should be good to go. If you got any questions, I'll try to answer them all in the comments and everything. I just thought I'd try to make a simple video explaining a little bit more in details of how you can change a double-acting hydraulic pump into a single.